Guys, so I just bought these two Ewoks today, and I gotta say, they're pretty disappointing. Alright, so this Ewok right here is Ramba, and this Ewok here is Grack. I got them at the Red Barn today, and I texted my friend that I got them, but when I realized the movie, they were not accurate at all, so they came with this collector's coin. And you also you gotta keep the cards as well. And when is this? This is like, yeah, this is the 30th anniversary. The 30th anniversary Ewok figures. So, these two are by far the most inaccurate Ewoks of all time. So, let's take, okay, let's take a look at Ramba. Let's talk about why he should remake him, and we're gonna also talk about some redeeming qualities. Stand up. Okay. First of all, let's talk about the bad qualities. So, Ramba has a gray hood. And if you look at the card, they didn't even copy it. As you see, he has this pouch on his forehead and has this brown coat. That's what he looks like in the movie. Here, it's not there at all and has just a gray hood without the pouch on. And if you go to the Kenner figure, right? The Kenner figure is expensive, but I'll look it up anyway. You see that? Oh, come on. Okay. You see that? Ramba has... I mean, they probably just copied the coloring, which is not accurate, but at least they put the hood... The, the, the pouch hood on. But here, it's not there at all. But... They, at least they did something a little better with the repaint. I mean, I'm kind of glad they made this because they're, they re, I mean, the repaints of these Ewoks are actually kind of disappointing. But at least they repainted him and Greg with the Ewok comic pack, which was actually really cool. And what else do I got? Now let's take a look at the redeeming qualities. Let's take a look at the, okay. No, wait. Yeah, let's take a look at the redeeming qualities. At least he's brown. And his facial expression is good. It's just like that. However, bad qualities are the, the hood is brown and there's no pouch. Those are the bad qualities. But the two good, aka redeeming qualities, are the fur coat and the facial expression. Now let's take a look at Greg. Now this one is actually... The worst Ewok figure out there that has ever been made. Okay, for gr okay, his ex I mean the accessories are nice though, but everything else no. Okay, so let's talk about the bad qualities. Why Grack should have a rem a remake? So first of all, I mean okay, they look at this. They repainted from blue mat. So this e yeah this. The Lumat picture, the one he's holding his stomach, like he's hugging his stomach, yeah, that picture. They copied this. So, yeah, that's why the theory that's it, there's like a stupid theory out there that, that's, that says these two are the same, but no. And also, look at this photo. Go back. Go back to the photo. You see Grack in the movie, he has stripes. He's like Nanta. I mean... The Nanta figure. Okay, I'll sh I'll look up the Nanta figure. The okay. Look at the Nanta figure. Let me pull it up. Yeah, you see, he has stripes. If you look, let me see. Okay, get a better get a better quality picture. Okay, this is him in the movie. This is him right here. Not the best accurate figure, but at least he's kind of decent. But here, he, his stripes are nowhere to be found. Look, no stripes at all. It's just fur coat coloring. They just probably put some like, it's like messed up fur. Also, I mean the face, I mean, okay. The, okay. Just wait, what else? I mean, what else? Okay, his weapons. Okay, 
the weapons are another bad quality. So, as you see, he has a bow and arrows. So, yeah, these are a separate piece. So, anyway, Grak did not use bow and arrows. He used the spear at the beginning. Even though he was one of the Ewoks that used that, that was in charge of the bow and arrow Ewoks, he did not he did not use a bow and arrow Ewok. He was not one of the bow and arrows, even though he was charged with one. In in the battle running away, he even he was not even seen with the bow and arrow. He didn't, he wasn't even participating with the bow and arrow. He was using like clubs and whatnot. In at the beginning, he was using spears. So that's another bad quality. Now, okay, let's talk. Wait, never mind. Okay, let's talk about the redeeming qualities. Now, same thing as Ramba, his, okay, now this one has slightly more redeeming qualities. Let's, okay, the, let's, wait, what about the hood? I gotta look at the hood. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, it's the same hood from the movie. So that's one redeeming quality. Actually, there are three redeeming qualities. The second is that they got the fur color right, even though they didn't have the pattern. And also, the second, the third redeeming quality is that his facial expression is correct. So, I only bought these just because I, I'm a collector's person, right? If you look at my room videos, you'll see that I'm a collector's person. I like collecting things, especially like cards, coins. Pieces of paper that are cl considered collector's items, why not? I mean, even though these are collector's items right here, and some people keep them in the package, but a lot of people I've seen in YouTube videos opening them up. But what I've got to say is that these are not the best such a figures. You can, I mean, if you want them, go ahead. But just to make sure they're not the most accurate Ewoks. But anyways, like, subscribe, see you for the next video.